place is a picture of the mind with the eyes as its interpreter. Words of Marcos Tilius Cicero. Good afternoon, Lagos. It's nice to be back on another interesting episode of your show, Eyes on the Road, especially on this beautiful Ido Fitri uh, day. Yes, of course, we are in the Ido Fitri holidays. Uh, we have been observing that. It's been a week of long holidays. Uh, well, since Tuesday, actually, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, well, uh, tomorrow is a work week. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for Eyes on the Road. My name is Akan Usen. Today, we will be having uh, the part two, the second installment of that very important topic that was so interesting. We had to take it to uh, a second installment. Yes, we started last week in, to in actually in response to a listener's request. Yes, we're talking about that uh, uh, condition known as pterygium. Pterygium. P T E R Y G I U M. Terigium. For those who missed the introduct introductory part last week, uh, we explained it to Regium, uh, also known as surfer's eye. Now, surfers, uh, okay, uh, a lot of us are not might not be conversant with uh, surfing and all that, but you know, it's a condition that affects the eyes and can cause discomfort, cause vision problems. So uh, we would be having a concluding episode of that uh, uh, discourse and also we feel free we'll be talking about other issues around it on the show today uh, we'll be touching on the risk factors the causes the treatment and uh, perhaps if there's any way we can prevent it we will definitely be t touching on that so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls mommies and daddies friends let's welcome dr priscilla imadi Doctor of Optometry with a PhD in Public Health and also the Consultant Optometrist at Modern Eye Care Foundation situated at Omoli Ojo Dubaja, Lagos. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. Looking wonderful as always. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, happy Ida Fitri yeah. to all yeah. our Muslim brothers and sisters. Mm. Yeah. It's 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 really been a week long um, holiday holidays, yeah. and uh, well it's been good it's been fun. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> of course. Didn't you go to work? <laughs> Didn't no, you do? My own is in social service. You know. And funny enough, is this holiday people have time to even come, come for, for eye checks? For, eye for, checks, for yeah. doctor, no, I need to you know call you out on this. I'm sorry I'm doing this. You didn't do any promo, either fitri promo for people. Oh, we just didn't yeah. announce it. We didn't announce it here. Okay. But on our uh, social media platform, we you had actually yes, had either fitri uh, promo for all our clients okay. and people around. Uh, and how was the turnout? Fine. I, I really just came, yeah, I came from the clinic mm. to the studio this afternoon, mm. and one. it's in fact it's okay, been so, fine. So pardon, so pardon me. Promise me. Pardon me for calling you. Promise me, Ramu. <laughs> they promised you Ram. Yes. Yeah, so uh, do they keep uh, Ram in this one? I thought it was the other one. Uh, you know, it's uh, part of the food that they see it to celebrate the okay. the, the the holiday. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, let's just remind listeners. Let's leave that uh, <laughs> that matter. Okay. So zero eight zero nine nine one two zero. 777 and uh, 091-538-77127 any of this will do the first line 080-991-20777 is also our whatsapp line so you can also reach us via whatsapp it will be amazing to hear from you uh, over to you dr terry joe yeah terry joe makan i commend you again for pronouncing it well thank and for spelling it you. correctly <laughs> That's great, that's great, that's nice. So like we said last week, this is just a continuation. And we said that pterygium is a growth on you, the eye surface. It's mm -hmm. actually an ocular surface okay. disease. It's not a serious eye issue, but it can be very discomforting. It can be very annoying. And cosmetically, it can make someone to feel like he or she is looking ugly. Because it grows on the whitish part of the eye. When it projects or grows there, you know, the eye will no longer be very white. The okay. eye can be easily irritated and red. And, you know, if it is, if the growth is so much advanced, it can start actually affecting the way somebody sees, especially when it impinges on the cornea uh, surface. We have it by statistics that uh, about 1.5 million Nigerians are diagnosed of pterygium every year. Well, this is... Um, it's not a source that we can truly verify, but roughly, that's what we have. 
Okay. That we have every year about 1.5 million Nigerians are being diagnosed of terrorism, and all over the world, about 12 percent of the world population is diagnosed with um, terrorism. And there are quite a number of causes now. Mm. In fact, I was um, in a seminar yesterday. Okay. Uh, I am in the American Academy of Optometry, Thank so you. we had them. Um, like um <laughs> 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 so actually the ocular surface um, um disease yeah. uh which of which terrorism is part of it you know all the world over now they're trying to collate statistics data on it to see how it's affecting everyone and there was one report that said that in nigeria there is as much as uh, 47 percent for women and um, about 42 for men that was as of the a, general population of the general population that's like what was presented yesterday so that's that's huge that even in schools now they are also finding it in secondary and up to about 13 percent hope it's so, not like other conditions that select black people <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not exactly but it's a, a bit more common you know in uh temperate uh, regions or in regions where we have very where we have um high temperatures and things like that and where the environment is very dusty so but terrigium the good news is that it's not cancerous okay even though it's a growth yeah, on the eye surface it's, 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 it's benign okay and it's nothing for one to really really be scared or worried about so doctor take us to class benign yes. what is benign uh, benign means that uh, it is not a cancerous something even okay. though it's a growth it does not have uh, it's cancer not cells. It's not life-threatening, okay. and it cannot develop into cancer. Okay, that's okay. what benign. that's what so that you learn is. that here. You learn that here because that's one of our you know duties to educate, <laughs> uh, inform, and entertain. Yes. So, moving ahead. And then it's increasing. People are developing terrorism now. The rates of uh, people coming down with terrorism in Nigeria is high, and there are a lot of reasons that have been advanced for this. In fact, even as before I continue, you can just look at your eye in a mirror. Just check the whitish part of your eye from the inner corner, you know, towards the part of your nose to the eye, where we call the outer cantus and the inner cantus. Mm -hmm. That's if you look at the eye, when you open your eyes, eh? I wish we are, we are able to see ourselves so that we can demonstrate it. Just look at the whitish part of your eye. Mm. Mm, from the, the, the angles, the, nose. the part closer to the nose, that place that looks like a, an angle. Mm. You know, just the check if there's so a no? triangle towards your ear. Yeah. The, uh, the part of your eye that is towards your ear and the part of your eye that is towards your nose. Okay. Just, just try and look at it in the mirror and see if there's anything, there any good like a tag. Mm. It will appear like a tan, yellowish, sometimes, yeah. sometimes off colorless, white, so. off-white, and then it can be red if it's inflamed. So just check. If you have that on the eye, that's what we are calling terrigium. And then most times it's shaped like a wedge. It will look like a triangle. The apex of the triangle will be pointing towards the black of your eye. Okay, so doctor, so, we've had uh, someone who has been trying to connect with us for a bit now. <laughs> Let's just uh, take his call. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> Good yes, uh, good to have you on the show. Your name and location, please. Even as you help us turn down the volume of your radio set. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, please let us know who you are and where you're calling from. Your name, sir. Your name, sir. Okay, Kunle, good to have you on the show. Please go on. <laughs> okay, so the doctor would respond to that. Thank you, Kule. Thank you, yes, Kule. I'll send you the address at the end of the show. Uh, uh, I can we read it out. Ne, the whole of next week, those that couldn't come, they can they can still come. Just say you are from Traffic Radio. We'll do a, um, a discounted um, eye examination for you and everything from Monday next week. Please feel free to come. Kule, I'll be expecting you. Okay, thank you for calling. 08-0991-20777 and 091-538-77127. We're talking to region, but feel free uh, if you want to still ask questions about any eye 
uh, challenge, feel free to connect with us. It will be uh, lovely to hear from you. So, doctor, this is the region now. Yeah, is it that good. someone someone cannot use it as an excuse? Like, I, I, can't, or I can't come to office today. Uh, uh, but, hey, I've told you that it's been like that. It's not cancerous. <laughs> uh, hey. it, although sometimes when it's inflated, for some people, yeah. anyway, there are also different ways with great cherry job. Okay. Uh, for some people, because of the level of disturbance or yes. infection or inflammation on it, it can really, really be... It can really, really give you some amount of discomfort. Yeah. So it can that you may not want in, in some way. Um, well, directly, no. Okay. But when there's a secondary infection on it, yes. Okay, but what we are saying is this this pterygium. I wish we have a picture that we can be able to show it. Is that you know, once it's inflamed and it's now moving towards the white, the um, cornea that's the black part of your eye moves away from the from the white part and grows towards the black area of your oh, eye okay. on a structure on that black that we call the cornea. Okay. So it can actually distort your vision. Yes, it can affect productivity because when you have a refractive error or astigmatism, can yeah. induce astigmatism. Okay. The rate of, you know, uh, production can be reduced. So, it, yes, it's a, it's a whole lot. You know, um, secondary opportunistic problems can, can start creeping up, up as all. the primary one of which pterygium is. And then it's on the increase now due to so many reasons, you know, that have been advanced. Number one, a lot of people are using their um, um, visual, uh, using visual display units now. It also oh, comes back again to ocular surface okay. disease that has been aggra aggravated by visual display units. People who use their phone, two, four, seven, their eyes are always on the phone. Children, they are always playing game mm. on the on their devices. They are always watching uh, television. They are from one form of visual display unit to the other. But these things you are mentioning now, they are now on the increase. Uh, we have parents. Yeah, that who is why right. Terry Jump too is also on the increase. Game Ocular their surface children, yeah. is see, phones because you use the eyes on exposed organ. Yeah. When you the upper eyelid and the upper eyelid, once you open the eye, everything about your eye is open, unlike your heart. That your your rib cage, your body is covering, it, yeah. protect is, is being protected. So the eye is an exposed organ. So ocular surface diseases is now on the increase as yeah. a result of visual display unit. And pterygium is just one of them. And then here too, we have a lot of UV lights, infrared lights, and you know directly from the sun rays. Okay. Now hard sun rays to the use of visual display units. You discover that the, the problems are further compounded mm -hmm. for us here in Nigeria. Sunlight has been found, you know, to also the, the uh, result of. in, you know, aggravation of, you know, uh, what could uh, cause pterygium on the eye. Then outdoor activities, especially when the environment is dirty, mm -hmm. dusty, wind, dust, smoke, pollen, all these things, by the time they keep impinging on your eye surface repeatedly over time, a pterygium can be formed on the eye surface. That's why you find out that among Okada riders, for oh, example, I was about to a go. greater percentage of them, over 80% of people who do that as their major occupation, end up with this um, pterygium. People who drive commercial vehicles as well without uh, protection like AC, their windows are always down. The dust, the smoke uh, from the automobile, always impinging on the eyes of his 247. You know, from time to time, over time, cumulatively, you discover that they have, um, they develop uh, what we call pterygium on, on the eyes of his. And then pterygium too can also be inherited. For people about the age of uh, 40 years and above, those that have inherited, you just discover that they start coming up, even when they are not exposed to these external factors that uh, we are we are talking about. But pterygium does not really affect children. It's not um, an eye problem for children. So if we find this in children, that would just be a rare occurrence. Because mm, I remember you mentioning that uh, there are cases where we might see them in children beyond a certain age. I remember you mentioned that last week. It's not a disease for children, but it can occur, but it's very rare. Very Most rare. time it occurs at about the age of 40 and above. Although from you find in some people to 25, uh, but rarely be old below the age of 18 <laughs> because they tried so now. They've got time yes. going through things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so that's so, uh, the occupation. So it's mm. like now, from what you said, it's like there are some particular occupations that, that makes actually it. make it more susceptible to Exactly. You. So we call those ones risky occupations for pterygium. 
One of them is commercial bus driving or commercial um, transportation. When you are always behind the wheels and these are your wheels, they don't have, uh, your windows are always down. So you are exposed to wind smoke, you know, every time more than any other group of people. Then Okada riders or uh, tricycle riders, those ones say they are the worst because the Okada riders, they are own. But people like that, what should they do? They should protect their eyes. They are what, there's what we call protective glasses that they are supposed to wear when you are riding Okada. Okay. Okada in itself is not even meant to be a form of transportation. Now, condition make crayfish bend. <laughs> you know, normally the way the um, a, a, a motorcycle have been designed is such that when you are riding it, you're supposed to, you know, wear your protective glasses and drive. Even your passenger, too. They're supposed to protect their eyes. Those days, they wear helmets. And then the helmet, they have a cover that they used to cover. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what it should be. But here, we just use it for transportation and our eyes are not protected. And at the end of the day, you discover that we have some of these eye problems um, developing. So those risky occupations, we can make a conscious effort. So How about protect our eyes. people that work? Yes, that's another group of occupation too that you know have a high risk for developing the region i've seen some welders they are doing their work with the eyes unprotected some of them will just wear normal dark um, shade. shade the fact that the shade is dark does not mean it has um, protection against ultraviolet rays or the dangerous rays that is being that is emanating from you know those you're welding or um what you are doing so there are special protection glasses for welders if you don't wear that you just say you have worn something that at the end of the day you are you, you are doing more harm to your eyes than even good so the eyes should be protected people who work in chemical factories as well mm. repeated exposure to chemicals especially paint industries wow. fertilizers and all those you know over time you now discover that these people they come down with a uh, region open market sellers you know, here okay. we operate a lot of open market operations. You see by the roadside, somebody is roasting yam, somebody is roasting bale, somebody is frying... Uh, so it may not even be what you are doing, it might be what the person beside you is doing. Once you are in that environment and you are exposed, or you are the one doing it, over time, cumulatively, that's what we are saying. And then people who smoke... Uh, I was going to ask that. <laughs> like so smoking, yes, lifetime. Okay, so. Uh, so, if I'm not the one smoking, how about if it's the person beside me that is smoking? Studies have even shown that you, the secondhand smoker, you are even more exposed. Eh. More, you know, you'll be worse affected more than the person that is even doing the actual smoking. So, we just have to be careful. Terrorism is on the increase and we have to protect our okay. eyes. Uh, let's look at uh, the roads at this time. Uh, around the PWD corridor, uh, at this moment, movement from Bolado to the junction towards National uh, still looking really, really friendly. Uh, National to all the way down to Ajay Farm via the Ikeja uh, bypass bridge is free. It's a really good movement from there onwards, cement. Uh, then Sule Junction from uh, Cement to Ilezik first, likewise from Sule Junction to Ilezik, Ilezik to Bolade, Ushudi, all looking good. No impediment recorded at this time. Uh, 080 991 That's also our WhatsApp line. You can call or send a WhatsApp message. You can also call 091 Five three eight seven seven one two seven. Feel free to connect with us via any of those lines. We'd love to hear from you. We're talking terrigium, yes. and uh, the doctor has been able to, you know, shed light on this, letting us know that uh, a few professions are actually risk. Uh, uh, occupational, uh, occupational, ha yeah, hazards. hazards, you know, uh, for those. Uh, and then she mentioned uh, secondhand smoke, so you know, might not even be the one smoking. Doctor, how about drinking? That's alcohol. Alcohol can be a secondary precipitator of uh, It's not directly, okay. but then for people who drink as well, they are more at risk of developing terrigium compared to people who don't uh, uh, who don't uh, drink. And um, there are a lot of complications. So okay, one of them is that you can compromise your cornea. The cornea is the transparent membrane that covers the black of the eye. The cornea contributes about. Um, 40 to 45 diameters as the power of the eye that makes you see. Yeah. 
actually begins with the cornea and then the lens. So for people who have advanced uh, region, once it has gone into the eye, it can distort that cornea, mm -hmm. resulting in astigmatism, reducing the, uh, the power of the eye to see. So you can start that, discover that such people can start having uh, eye problems and they may not be able to see very well. So they will require like scratching it off. In, um, an excision of the pterygium so that they can see well. And then also some other complications could come with uh, um, not cosmetically. People feel they feel that maybe they look ugly with the pterygium in their eyes. In fact, there was a lady I saw who wanted to use contact lenses. And if there is pterygium in your eye, you cannot wear you contact, contact lenses. We, uh, you can't? Oh, we have a call. We have a call. I just <laughs> Hello. Hello. Happy day of what is that? What comes up? Doctor, yes, doctor. I better go before the association come for me. Man. Uh, I have been our dear doctor. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Happy holiday. Happy Eid uh, Fitri. I'm enjoying that conversation. Thank mm. you. Thank you, sir. I just want to ask about. Uh, does it affect those using computers? Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, thank you very much for that question, sir. Yes. Yeah, she, she, uh, the doctor will respond yes. to that. Uh, can I just add to this? We have a question on uh, WhatsApp from Kokumo Shamshidin. He says, uh, good evening, doctor. Has technology not advanced to other means of treating cataract rather than surgery treatment? Oh. Mm. <laughs> yes, so actually, technology is advancing. It's advancing. But I think he should ask us. Thank you, Mr. Kokumo. Thank you for always listening and, you know, uh, commenting on this uh, program. Mm. I think you should also ask, what are we blacks doing to help ourselves? What are we Nigerians doing? You see, in the developed world, they've gone really, really far, 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 far. Before, Katara surgery, you will go, you will do three days. You, maybe you will be in the hospital. You will pack eye, you will tie eye. You you will, they will I use patch. knife, cuts, but now, surgery is seven minutes, ten minutes. You don't go. So a lot, there's a lot of technological advancement. And the time is coming too, just like what you've just said now. And, you know, yeah, it's very possible. Mm. Okay? Mm. Um, I also want to quickly say that um, for ladies that have pterygium, they will not be able to wear contact lenses. So okay. please, all those of you that go to the roadside to go and buy contact lenses and wear Hey, by the time you now start having complications, don't come home. In fact, uh, was it last month? I had a lady who came. Uh, she had the contact lens. And she did not check her eyes because before you start wearing contact lens, you must do an eye test to be sure that yes, you are you are suitable. Your eyes can tolerate it because contact lens is for everybody. She put contact lens on the eye. Went to party at the end of the day. She had serious issues. Her cornea, she had what we call cornea ulcer. By the time she came to the clinic, we discovered so many things on the eye. So please don't force your eye to wear contact lenses. Don't say because your friends are wearing it, you want to wear. For people who have pterygium, pterygium can actually dislodge your contact lenses and oh. make it you know, Why impossible that? for you because to see. Because the surface is not smooth. It's not smooth. Oh, this is, you know, okay, it's okay. going to really, you know, when, when there is pterygium in the eye, you will feel like there is sand in the eye. Mm. It will look, you will feel like there is a foreign body okay. inside your eye. When you blink, you will feel like there is something inside your eye. You know, normally when you blink, it's supposed to be smooth, a smooth movement. Yeah. You will not even feel it. But when there is a region in the eye, anytime you blink, anytime you move your upper eyelid, for those that don't know the meaning of blinking, when you move your eye, you try to you know, move your upper eyelid, then you blink, you will feel something. So when that happens... We will just know that, yes, there is something growing inside the eye, and it can be very, very disturbing. So, please, those are some of the complications. Don't try to force yourself to wear contact lenses. Don't sleep with your contact lenses if you have a pterygium um, in, the, in the eye. And then, what's the treatment? The treatment is excision. Once it is, has grown onto your cornea, it's matured or it's disturbing. Only man stem, doctor. We just don't do small you. surgery. <laughs> Just come, yes, you scratch it off. Remove, you just come, okay, yes, you remove it, okay. take it off. And then eye drops too can also okay. be given. If who, who does this procedure? The ophthalmologist. ophthalmologist. Yes, yes. Okay. Although in some countries, optometrists can. But here in Nigeria, okay. ophthalmologists, yes, okay. they do the surgery. Yeah. So um, if it's not uh, advanced, it's not so matured, you, eye drops can be given. Once the uh, inflammation is reduced, mm. you feel better. Ointments too can also be given. 
and you can feel better. But if it's so, so bad, then it's a decision um, surgery can be done and then you also feel good. And then you should also mind the kind of cosmetics that you wear as a lady. Avoid putting the drugs, um, eye shadows, whatever, all those things, lead. Mm. All those things can also compound pterygium on the eyes. And for food vendors, please wear cap to cover your eyes. There's nothing wrong if you even wear protective glasses. If you know that you are always inside the sun, uh, selling or doing the people who use their wood, firewood, anything that brings out smoke, will always end up coming down with a uh, pterygium. Mm. So please. All right. So, uh, a doctor about the question now, uh, Doctor uh, Elder Tell Oh yes, yes on uh, the computer. computer yes, yes, people. Computer is a type of visual display unit. So anybody that is exposed to computer repeatedly over time could come down with ocular surface mm. disease. Which of course is you one have of mentioned. Them. Yes. So for more information, go and read my book. Get the doctor's book. Chapter, I think it's on chapter four of that book, where we talked about the different oh, eye conditions that can come. Right. Up. Time, Please get the book time, and read more time, about terrigium. Yes, uh, that no one should go blind is why we diligently, you know, bring you uh, this show every Thursday. We value your feedback, so uh, please, uh, in order to serve you better, keep them coming. Continue to share your thoughts and tell us uh, what you feel. Feel free to visit our past episodes on our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, at this time, just go to Traffic Radio 961, search for Eyes on the Road, and don't enjoy alone. Don't be selfish. Share, share, share. Dr. Priscilla Imade, OD, MSc, PhD in Public Health and Consultant Optometrist at Modern Eye Care Foundation, uh, situated at plot 16 to 18, Ogunisi Road, opposite Amalia State Phase 1 by Akiode Bus Stop, Ujodi Baja. And you can reach her on 080 3333 That's 080 3333 Six six seven two. On behalf of the production team led by Micah Anrocha and our executive producer Tayo Akonde, my name is Akan Usen. Remember those eyes of yours best qualifies you as a driver. Hence, it's best to keep your eyes healthy and your vision clear at all times. Until next week, Thursday, drive safely and enjoy the rest of your Ramadan holidays. I'm on a journey.